Good afternoon, everyone. Overlapping of Solar Cycle 24 compared to Solar Cycle 5, we are definitely heading back into Dalton minimum type conditions and begin to look for the cloud cells on our planet behaving strangely. Snow in the Carpathian Mountains, Eastern Europe, 400,000 lightning strikes in a 24 hour period over Europe as well. Beautiful images of the incredible frost across Australia, Russian fronts. Over the U.S., something that looks like an inland hurricane. And during the Grand Solar Minimum, you are going to have to grow some of your own food. If you don't know how to do that, here's some starter guides from trueleafmarket.com. Free for you to learn even the first steps in getting ready. How about sprouting sunflower? It's one of the easiest. You'll find the Adapt 2030, trueleafmarket.com. Link below in the description box, as well as all of tonight's video links and images. New forecast out for solar cycle 25. Indeed going to be lower than even solar cycle six. This is absolutely gonna bring us back into something in the Dalton minimum. There was a full rundown in the article about areas on the planet that it's going to freeze first. I'll bring that to you in the next video, but this is what they did comparing the solar cycles. Solar cycle three, four, five, and six compared to 22, 23, 24, and where we're going with 25 will be lower than solar cycle six. And if we were going to be looking for changes, these cloud cells on our planet, the Hadley cell, Ferrell cell, and the polar cell, this is all what the polar vortex is about and why it's dipping so far south, why there's droughts in some area, why there's flooding in others. We're going to be getting into shorter growing season, erratic weather patterns, etc. Specifically, the 30 to 60 degrees north or 30 to 60 degrees south latitudes. Areas to keep an eye on pegged already as to where these changes are going to occur first. We'd also be looking for changes in our atmosphere. And when you see about 400,000 strikes of lightning in a single 24 hour period, that's not normal. That's far above the averages. Now, what was it? France just last month doubled its prior total as well for lightning strikes in a full month. And staying over in Eastern Europe here, Carpathian Mountains receiving snowfall, what, just a week before July? A couple inches deep, but not normal. Even the farmers are talking about how strange that is. Now, where are the Carpathian Mountains? You can see it where that bowl is forming right around the Great Hungarian Plain, literally in the middle of the map. And if we trace over that to where the Alps and the Carpathians come together, that is where they had all-time record snowfall. Remember, it started in Slovenia and came all the way back to the Italian border. That whole area there, same, that we saw these stunning all-time record snows over this winter of 2017 and 2018. Now, jumping over to North America as well, unprecedented 1.8 meters. That's six feet of snow. Still, that late in June in Labrador and Canada. Media is not talking about this too much. And when you come to some of these consolidator channels like The Watchers, Adorelli, amazing, well done website. But when you come on here and the first three stories that they have are heavy rains, flooding, severe storms, hundreds of thousands of people without power in the US, uh, something's changed in our weather patterns. This goes right back to the cloud cells. Over into Greece on June 23rd, so much water, you know, that's coming out of the manholes there. The drains are actually overflowing with such pressure that it pushed the manhole covers off and it's actually coming out of the center of the streets, feet deep. Good videos here. I linked everything below so you can check that out. And over into Russia, spectacular shelf clouds rolling in preceding the front. Also something anomalous over the United States over the last couple of days. It looked like a cyclonic spinning pattern right in the center of the U.S. This is off the ghost satellite, but that vortice pattern is very pronounced. You would see something more like this in the winter, not the summer. And staying on the ghost satellites, incredibly severe weather, damaging hail is an understatement. That dark green spot that you're seeing there, look for tornadoes, look for massive hail, and look for ferocious winds at possibly 90 to 100 miles per hour preceding this front. Couple different views for it here. This is the mid-level water vapor. 
that dark green, the darker it gets, the more intense it is. And then we can come over here with what you're kind of used to with the cloud tops where it turns black. But you can see where the line is. If you're anywhere in there, take this seriously. Those warnings, rounding it off down in Australia, these are the images that were coming out a few days back with the Australian super freeze that took frost to within 1,500 miles south of the equator. This is on OzPolitik. Bobby's running the mini Ice Age page over there. That's also linked below. There's an enormous amount of images coming out. I pulled some of just what I thought was the most stunning sunrise images here with the frost dusting everything in its wake. Stunningly beautiful. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. With all the Solar Cycle 25 forecasts coming out, I'm going to try to bring you more of those videos throughout the next week.